no. Who's that? What's going on here? We're wondering the same thing. Caught this one here. About to bust open wire supply. Oh, that another resistance group. Your crate? Aye, our crate. We spent weeks of coordinating this drought with the British. Not about to let some out towners snag our supplies. What? Aren't you on the same side? Exactly, we're all fighting for the Germans here. Just because we have a common enemy doesn't mean we're on the same side. We don't need you wasting our supplies on some silly capers. Capers? My group has done more around here than any other of you upstarts. You better remember that next time you go around shooting off warning shots. Oh, then why didn't the Brent send you these supplies, eh? If you're so god effective. Well, she does operate underneath radar. Well, she does operate under the radar. That's the point, isn't it? I'm guessing you're all new to this, lady. We all operate under the radar. But I reckon there's a reason the British don't like her. Isn't that right, Sparrow? They just don't like my politics. But my comrades are the one who died for our people. Let's all just simmer down. Why, so she can take our explosives? No, thanks. Get away from my stuff. And do it quick. Next one won't be a warning shot. Can't you see we need these supplies? Not a problem, lady. Man, you're just as worse as the ah! Germans then. You idiots. Wouldn't you know what... You idiots wouldn't know what to do with explosives if you had them. Salt in there won't help. Don't undercut me, Greta. We need these supplies. You're not the only ones, lady. Lava shot a rival resistant members while arguing over supplies. Lava! Finn! My arm! She got me in my shooting arm! And I'll get you again if you don't back off before the Germans get here. Come on, Greta, grab what you can and let's get out of here. No! I'm not playing dirty, Lava. Fine, take it. Fine, I'll take whatever I can carry. You just get out of here. That's fucked up. That's not good. Why did she do that? What's wrong with her? For weeks, or even months, another resistance group had risked discovery, secretly communicating with the British under the very nose of the occupation. These late arrival resistance fighters had dreamed up schemes and sabotages, all of which relied on the contents of this drop. And here we were ready to snatch their prize from under them. Was that right? Leva knew she could put these resources to better Lever. use. If the goal was to disrupt the occupation forces, she was the woman for the job. Honestly, anyone with the driveway this long must be up to something. Time to figure out. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just stupid. Time to figure out just how much Margaret knows about her father. Let's go and find some information. Oh, Farmer Larson! I'm here to. You must be here to see Miss Margaret. Please, come on in. It's freezing out there. Thank you. Please, wait here. I'll go fetch Miss Market. Is that water noise? Oh, they're mopping up the floor. Temperature is so nice in here. And no doubt, courtesy of Vistagard's connections. Greta, you came. Oh, I'm so sorry about the place. It's such a mess right now. A mess? The floor has been polished to such a luster. I can practically see my own reflection. This is the cleanest mess I've ever saw. Yes, well, you know my father and his parties. No expenses are spared. And nothing less than a grand spectacle would do. The staff would be at it all day. Is your father home? Oh, goodness, no. He's always on business. Oh, but I'm being terribly rude keeping you here in the foyer. Come, let's go to the sitting room. I've already set for tea. Alright. We better not disturb Vera while she's working. Come on, let's go around. 
How's the cleaning going? Same way it always goes. Do something here, there's more to do there, it never ends. Oh, Miss Larson. I didn't realize it was you. We haven't seen you around the house in a while. I uh, heard about your husband. Seems like this whole town has. Indeed. Word travels fast around here. He's a hero or a ruffian, depending on who you ask. And if I ask you? Uh, I think your husband could have picked a better target. Mr. Vestigar might not be an angel, but he keeps plenty of people working. Myself included. And at fair wage, too. Better than fair. Maybe next time your husband can blow up a place that doesn't employ innocent names? I'm sorry. Ah, it's not your fault. Now go on, Miss Margaret. It's waiting for you. Please have a seat. I'll pour you a cup of tea. Eh, I'm gonna walk off. No! I, I can't imagine how you must be feeling right now. And this place on a rest by Gestapole? I never thought something like that would happen to the two of you. You're just about the nicest people I know. Is it true that Ennis is part of the resistance? I suspected something was afoot. But I only knew that he was helping Peter with some small act of protest. I never imagined he was involved in something as dangerous as this. But surely, there must be something we can do. And not just because of what's happened to Anders. It's like the entire town is covered in prickly vines. And as much as I try to untangle them, they just keep wrapping themselves around us tighter and tighter. Oh, but my dearest friend, it's not your job to fix the entire town. Don't, don't ever think that. Here. What, why, why, why don't you have some chocolate? I heard that's common for the nerves. Uh, thank you. The chocolate melts against my tongue and tastes divine. Father got them from some of his contacts and he, oh, from some smugglers, I think. Does he do that kind of thing often? I, yes, I suppose he must. We're not lacking for supplies in this house, but, oh, but, you know, he really isn't such a bad man. His factory does put food on a lot of workers' table. He's not just running a factory. Your father is up to a lot more these days. Yes, but he's a man of influence in this town. He can't afford to sit back and let things happen to him. At least, that's what he always says. And you know he's not fond of Wolfgang anymore, even though he's working with the Germans? You know my father. No difference between personal and the business side of things. He might think Wolfgang is a liability with the war going the way it is. But do you really think father is up to something sinister? Why else would the resistance attack his factory? He's not the only one collaborating with the Germans. There must be more to it. Well, they hardly seem to pick their targets carefully. But truth be told, I've been worrying about father lately. I was still helping him with the company books until a month ago. Then all of a sudden, he asked me to stop. You know, the other day I heard him talking on the phone. As far as I could tell, he was speaking with some... Hold on. Let me make sure no one's listening. There are a lot of chocolate stuff. Leave them alone. Alright, it seems like we're alone. So, from what I can hear, Father was talking to some marchers from up north. It sounds like he was going to meet them later to finalize a big purchase. I heard him say something about a gold pig, a show of good faith. It's like something out of a detective novel, don't you think? Sounds intriguing, but why a gold pig? Perhaps it has something to do with Danish pork. I'm not sure. Have another chocolate while we think this over. Well, all right. She sure didn't want me to eat this chocolate. Since you assist, I admire your father, of course. But sometimes I wonder if he's too caught up in whatever game he's invented for himself. You know, I started writing about him. And Wolfgang and Jacob and the whole town. I don't know if it's much of anything, but I got pages of it back in my room. Sorry I'm getting a bit carried away, aren't I? I'd love to see those pages. Really? You would? Of course. Uh, Alright, I'll go fetch them. I'll be right back.
Okay. Weird girl. Why would she, okay, why she close the door? And left me like in here like this. She'll probably be gone for a few minutes. I'm sorry, Margaret. But this is my chance. I need to go see if I can find anything in Mr. Guy's office. Anything that will help persuade him to help Anders. knows what he keeps in there. It's locked. I think Margaret once mentioned that her father keeps a spare key in the library. It'd be nice to have so many books. Oh, no. Maybe. No. Here it is. Should get moving. There we go. A perfect fit. Huh? What's this? A folder of papers is inside the drawer. The German eagle on the cover. Proud and taunting. Next to it, a expensive looking golden pig smiles at me from the shadows. Who's there? Is someone in Mr. Vistagard's office? Oh no, she'll be here any second. What should I take? Take the papers. The pig. Hey, what's up? Miss Larson, what on earth are you doing in here? You've no business in this office. I was admiring the decor. There's plenty to admire in the rest of the house. This is a private office. I don't care how close you are with the family. You can't just barge in as you please. I'm sorry. You should be. There are rules for a reason. You know that everyone would give you a pass just because your husband was arrested. You're just like your husband. What does that mean? You're both making life difficult for Mr. Vestergaard. What's he done to set be a friend to you? He's not exactly struggling. Easy enough for you to talk with your clinic jog in your nice house. Um, my boss died and my house is kind of a piece of ah. You middle class folk had no idea what a job like this means to us. And you want to act like the rules shouldn't matter? I can't afford to ignore him. What's that in your bag, eh? In my bag? Greta? Where are you? What's going on in here? Oh, Miss Margaret, you won't believe it. Miss Larson has been snooping around your father's office. Oh, Vera, surely it's... Surely it's not so serious as that. Surely it's not so serious as that. Greta, is this true? I might have had a little look. Who knows what your father is up to? Father can be quite mysterious sometimes. I wouldn't mind knowing what he's up to myself. With all due respect, Mr. Vist... With all due respect, Miss Vistagard, your father business is his own. Oh yes, of course, I just meant. And I'm not so sure Miss Larson here is someone you should look up to. I'm fairly certain I saw her put something in her bag just now. Oh, that's a strong accusation, don't you think? I know what I saw, miss. I simply must insist that Miss Larson empty her bag. I didn't realize the guest depot was here too. Oh, you're dramatic for a thief, aren't you? Please, Greta is my guest in my home. We mustn't be so rude. I'm going to have to insist that you both leave this office. Oh, fine. Come on, Greta. Good day. Yeah, while you're in there, you might well clean up in there. <laughs> perhaps I should have handled that better. You did nothing wrong. Oh, perhaps you're right. But Vera's been with us for a very long time. I know she's very protective of Father. You could have trusted me, you know. I'm as interested in what Father is up to as anyone else. As his daughter, perhaps even more so. Well, what did you take? The papers flutter onto the table. Oh my. Is this a train schedule? Why didn't you tell me you were looking for something like this? I didn't want to upset you. I appreciate the concern, but I don't need to be coddled. If my father is up to something, I want to know. It looks like a train schedule for a train headed to Germany. Fathers certainly sell things to Germans, but I've never seen shipment this large before. The radios we make here will hardly fill a fifth of those train cars. What could he be sending? I think we'll need to do some more digging. Will you tell me if you learned anything else tonight at the banquet? Of course. Thank you. 
There's a photo lying in the table. There's a photo lying on the table next to Margaret. It must be the piece of writing that she went to get for me. But what about your but what about your stories? Oh, don't don't worry about that now. You have a lot on your mind. I'll see you at the banquet, I suppose. What is Vestigard up to? The Vestergaard Manor was a testament to one man's ambition, and it seeped through every corner of the building. Even when he was gone, his presence dominated the rooms. I had hoped to find something incriminating, but there was no clear evidence to be had. Only vague indications that riled my curiosity and threatened to strain my friendship with Margit. Vestergaard didn't seem to be a monster, but that didn't mean he lacked skeletons in his closet. Perhaps these could be used to pressure him. I need to convince Mr. Vestergaard to help free Anders. If he won't offer aid, then who can I turn to? God. <laughs> Here comes a bunch of reading. It seems the entire town has arrived for the banquet. This is my best chance to see if Mr. Vestigar will help Anders. I have to convince him. Oh boy. Hello. Welcome to the Vestigar. Welcome to the Vestigar Manor, Miss Larson. May I take your coat? Uh. I can hang it myself. No, I must insist. Oh, wow. Wow, Greta. Wow. You, uh... Wow. Wow. She, uh, she look good. Huh. Hey, Greta, if, uh... Fanners don't make it, which I know he won't. Uh... You're gonna become a widow. And, you know, if you don't want to be a widow for too long, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not dating anybody, so, uh, well, don't, don't you look nice. Yeah, she does. Ah, uh, Greta, I'm so glad you were able to attend. Well, this should be a great opportunity to convert Mr. Vestigar to your case. Uh, I'm gonna need a drink. Some liquid fortitude will certainly prove helpful. But be careful not to overindulge, my child. Of course. Farmer Larson, welcome. Can I offer you some, uh, can I offer you a refreshment? It might help my nerves, but I need to keep my wits about me. Uh, yes, thank you, Joanna. Joanna. The liquid makes my throat all warm and fuzzy. What about you, dear pastor? Ah, thanks very kind of you, bud. I'm afraid champagne is too prickly for my throats. I'll live a little. Well, I don't suppose you might be able to procure a hot toddy. A what? A hot toddy? What is that? Certainly, I'll ask the kitchen. What is a hot toddy? Remember, however, that Vestigard enjoys a good sparring match. The more prepared you are, the better. He sits in the dining hall now. See if you can catch his ear. Well, I still had those papers. This Mr. Festengard. I'm afraid Mr. Festengard is in the middle of a private conversation. If you'd like to speak with him, you'll have to wait until dinner. I believe Miss Margaret is in her room. She's suspecting you. Okay. I stole some pot for my father. Would you like to smoke some? Um, I'm worried that father has gotten himself into something messy. I noticed a few inconsistencies in the accounts, though nothing really explicit yet, but enough about that. Goodness, am I glad to see your face. There's so many people out there, Danes, Germans, Nazis, smugglers. I feel as though half of them are ready to thrust a knife into the other half. Aren't you excited to see Wolfgang? Of course, but Wolfie has to make the rounds tonight. A social event is an obligation when you're an officer. 
I must admit, events like these always make me a bit nervous. There's so much pressure to make a good impression. You always make a good impression. Of course you would say that. You're my oldest friend. But I still appreciate it. And an aspiring writer does need her material. I'll be out shortly. At least people seem to be enjoying themselves. It would be. It would be too if it wasn't for... Of course, this must be such a distraction for you. Have you had any luck speaking with Father yet? No, he seemed wrapped up in the conversation with that Grispado. But Gris, Gristopo, I keep on calling him Aaron. Officer. Father has been keeping unusual company lately. I worry that he's up to more than usual. Mingo until dinner. If you might, you might be able to gain more information about what he's doing. Then I'm sure Father would be free to talk. I don't know. Picking out jewelry for the banquet? Oh, that. Not quite. I'm afraid one of the maids might have taken something. Ooh, a ring, a necklace. I can't find them anywhere. A ring? Style, Style mentioned someone leaving a ring with him. Oh, you talking about that ring he had showed us? Uh... When he was talking to us about um, Anders in cooperation, maybe you just lost them. You should keep an eye on the maze. Can anyone else have taken them? I don't think so. No one else really comes in here. Well, except Wolfgang. In any case, I'll be out shortly. Go mingle. Well, let's go talk to him. Greta ain't already tipsy enough. What's going on? I couldn't move for a second. Hmm. Ah, Faru Larson, you made it after all. This is quite the matter, don't you think? A fine example of what can be done when a person chooses to cooperate with the ruling power rather than... Well, you understand. Why, we just approved Vestigar's purchase of some foreclosed farmland north of town. That's quite the collection he's building up. Really? I wonder if it's that same farmhouse that we went to go get those crates. Wait a second, where you going? Hold up. It's nice to see you socializing, Greta. I'm glad you're not threatening your husband's treachery as a scarlet letter. We cannot allow ourselves to be punished for the sins of others. Like your cousin. It seems she has become quite devoted as a late and speaks with the pastor often. I'm not sure what to make of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dinner is being served. Everyone please find your way to the dining room. Everyone found their way to the dining room. Uh oh, there you are. Listen here, I might need your help with something after dinner. Come and find me in the smoking room and show up this time. If you're useful, I promise the punchy fellow guarding your husband gets a stomach ache. Eh? I don't care what you do to Anders. He's dead anyway. We all—I mean, we all know this, right? He's dead. There's no way he's getting out. I suppose I should join. I suppose I should go join the others. He is dead, and we all know that. He's, I don't even know, I don't even know the thing. Anders is gone. Greta might as well let that go. Sheesh, let that go already. Ah, there's our final guest. Please have a seat, Greta, then we can begin the feast. Okay. Where can I sit? Okay, I can sit there. Anywhere else I can sit? Everybody looking at me like, what is she doing? Sit down. I'm trying to find out where else I can sit. Sit over here. There's a chair over here. Yeah, but I'm still looking around. Sit down, Greta. We're hungry. Yeah, sit down, Greta. What is this ah! doing? <laughs> Sit down right here? 
Yes, yes, sit down. Okay. Now, now that Greta has finally found her ah! seat, I'm glad you all could join me this evening. <laughs> it is vital that we Danes and Germans can come together and celebrate our shared values in history. Both those of us native to this region and our esteemed visitors from aboard, through cooperation we grow stronger. And through industry we shall grow more preposterous. I think I said that right. Now, let us drink to our common good fortune and rise a glass to our friends from Germany. Drink. Now let us see what Vera has spent all day cooking for us. If she come out here with some ham, I'm gonna be pissed. And you see, that's why Hitler, oh God, here he goes talking about this. And you see, that's why Hitler's accent was inevitable. There was really no other way for the situation to resolve itself. Oh, that's ever so insightful, her stash. Style, style, style. But what if the moderates had managed to form a correlation sooner? Then the party's victory might have been delayed. I hardly think likely. Well, perhaps we better hear the opinion from more neutral party. What say you, Far You Larson? Can't you ask anybody else? It could have turned out quite differently. Is that so? And what do you base this conclusion on? Now, now, her styled lady has a point. If just a few people had made different choices, we could be having quite a different conversation right now. Then I'm glad those choices were not made. Might I suggest another toast in the name of the glorious rich? Oh, reach, reach. I think that's re reachy, reachy, reach, right, reach. I don't know. Here, 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 here. Don't drink. Not thirsty all of a sudden for you, Larson? Why are you focusing on me drinking? After all, if you've been such a loyal citizen these last few days, I'm trying not to get drunk. It is in can I have some ginger ale? It is encouraging to see that some locals understand the value of reach 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 and its brave soldiers. Calm down. Goodness. What's gotten into her? She should remember where she came from. Oh my god, is everybody upset because I didn't drink? Speaking of rich, 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 I don't know how you say that. How are the uh, recent Matillery campaigns going? Ah, well. The spring, the spring will see our armies better mobilized. Didn't you serve in Africa, Wolfgang? How was that? Africa, yes, Africa was difficult. I lost many comrades, many friends. Oh, darling. But we fought well and gave our opponents bullets to remember us by. It was quite a blow to hear our Field Marshal Ro Romels. Rome Ro Romanel Romels? Romels? I have no idea, guys. These names, the these titles, I can't get them. Passing in the fall. You carried us through quite a difficult time. I'm glad you made it through. Yes, well, thank you, Greta. There are certainly many grand dramas unfolding in this war, but I'm happy our little town is playing its parts. Both in manufacturing and receiving so many refugees from Germany. Here, here, my countrymen are most thankful for the Danes accommodating, accommodating nature. Why, just in two days' time, as many displayed Germans will be passing right through your station. It is a good thing, a little tingly if it's rather quiet. There's even time to find religion. Isn't that right, uh, Sherilotti? Ah, yes, she's been joining me to discuss matters of faith. Not faith in Richie, I assume. Oh no, of course not. Good, there seems to be too much doubt these days. Your husband, Faru Larson, is a prime example. Just yesterday, he was given the opportunity to help himself. And instead, he chose to give us a fake lead. Too bad. 
We had to kill the poor lad to send us on a wild goose chase. Needless to say, there was repercussions. I hit him in the head so hard that I gave him a cushion. Here, Styles. Here, Styles. Here, Styles. What the devil? Oh, I thought it was cheering. Styles, I must speak with you. Then speak, soldier. Can't you see I'm eating steak? In front of all these people? Go on, spit it out. But I got gum in my mouth. I'll quit it. Don't spit on my floor. It's your son. Uh-oh. He's gone missing. Well, we found him, but his head is missing. My son? Yes, sir. For some hours now. Right, well, if you'll excuse me, I clearly have some business to attend to. Nobody cared about your son. Well, that was unexpected. I'm sure the rascal had just ran off into one of his infernal adventures. Indeed. Another drink to ease the tension. Fine, I drank. I don't want people to say, oh, I should get a drink. Uh -uh. And what about you, gentlemen? If yeah, Mr. God has informed me that you are a businessman from the north. Surely you have found Germany's part that productivity beneficial to Denmark as well. Yes, our business has done quite well in recent times. Quite well indeed. The dinner is taking forever. Is no one else getting restless? I, well, in all honesty, I could do with a scratch. I would not object to a scratch myself. So we get to have the dinner over already. Very well, I suppose we've been sitting long enough. Through and truth, I must attend to some business in my office. Please, all of you, feel free to mingle while I'm away. Greta, tell him you need to talk to him. Why would you do that? God. Best the guy disappeared before I had a chance to... You should have told him right then and there. When he said he was going to his office to do with some business, you should have said, Hey, I need to talk to you for a minute. That's your fault, Greta. I need to go to his office. Yeah, you do. Vera's not going to stop us. Greta, Greta. I'm glad you're here. I need to talk to you about something. Uh, Lava. Late Leva. Leva sent me to retrieve documents for the resistance. Whoever our secret informant is wants to drop them off by now. The documents are supposed to be somewhere in this room. Why is there two of them? I guess this one is... Whisper. In the library? Yes. But I can't exactly rummage through the books with these two here. Maybe it's one thing, but your dad ain't exactly a rep. Can you get them out of here, please? I think that Renahard Bastard has been looking for you too. Best avoid him. The party has gotten bigger and bigger. We can't keep meeting at our homes. Well, then have your German friends find you a place. Please tell me you have a new topic of conversation, Greta. Huh. I heard that Hens Meyer is taking bribes. He's one of those most honest men I know. Joshua don't seem to think so. I can't stand for this. Thank you for telling me, Mr. Wynn. Might as well see how this plays out. Finally! Thanks, Greta. Now I can search these bookshelves for the message. Just make sure no one pops in. Found it! Maybe it's best you keep it to yourself. The more I know, the worse things get. It's an inventory list for Vestengard's factory. Only, he's not storing radio parts. So, what's in the factory? Ammos, guns, explosives. I never thought he'll go that far. The old man is into some dicey business, but this... Ah! Sorry to start you, ma'am. You're free to speak with Mr. Fistengard now, though I wouldn't hope for much. He's done in a very generous mood. But if we're to speak frankly and privately, this office is not the place for it. As I'm sure you've noticed, walls are quite thin. I feel we'll have to brave the elements on the balcony. But first, a bit of schnapps to warm the bones? Yes, please. 
I'm getting drunk. Cheers. I might have gone overboard. Things are getting hazy. Oh, crap. We got the perfect buzz going right now. Now, let's get going. This way, this way. Goodness! This wind cuts right through the bone! Yeah, you already told me that. Greta, I hope it's not too cold for you out here. I'd rather enjoy the crisp air. As I was saying inside, I'm sure you're aware that your husband's predicament is a sensitive subject. The man who arrested him just joined us for dinner. And let us not forget that it's my factory which was attacked. What is it which you have me do? Use your influence to help Anders. My influence? That is a thing cultivated over many years in exciting fashion. It's hardly all in comparison. Dealing with the Germans require a delicate touch. I cannot risk moving a finger unless I'm presented with a good reason. They are a suspicious lot. We should all be suspicious these days. Indeed, we all should. I'm afraid the current anxiety of our occupation makes things difficult. My factory, my workers depend on stable relationships with the occupation. You're a profiteer. Or a profiteer. I suppose I am. But I am not the only one who profits. There's nothing sort about a bit of trade. Not even when you're sorting weapons? Indulging your workers by hosting guns and explosives? Have spare rooms. It would be bad business not to rent them out if there's a willing customer. But I don't concern myself with what my clients keep there. Business requires trust. Trust doesn't come cheap. It certainly does not. Which is why we must make the most of the opportunities presented to us. Certainly business requires a bit of iron and a farm stomach. But I have not lost my humanity. Which is why you help the resistance. Even if they attack you. Now, there is a rumor that could cause some trouble. When this war is over, I expect much of what I've done come to light. But a premature reveal would only hinder me. And then I'll be no help to anyone, including Anders. I suspect you came here hoping to get help for your husband. But I'm afraid I must decline. Is there nothing you can do? I'm not a magician. I can't just make the sail bars disappear. My power does not come from open opposition, dear child. It is carefully constructed, diligently reinforced by mutual obligations. You must get others to rely on you in order for them to do your bidding. But just the same, you have brought many things to my attention, Greta. You deserve something for your effort. I'm afraid I don't make a habit of filling my pockets with valuables, but here, these cigars might graze a few palms. I can't accept that. Ah, a shame. I would have been glad to get rid of them. I can't stand the stuff. But a businessman without a cigar is like a peacock without feathers. And we all have to make sacrifices to get what we want. Perhaps in time we'll bend the situation to your advantage. I'm sorry, Greta, but this is something you'll have to manage on your own. I have my own set of problems to deal with. I even made the mistake of letting my daughter get involved with a German officer. Each of us must put our own house in order first. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, at least you tried. So that's it. I told you, Anders is gonna be dead. Perhaps it was foolish to expect anything from him. Forget Anders, Greta. Come with me. I'll be your boyfriend. I'll be your husband. But I can't let them take Anders away. Forget him. I can hear laughter coming from inside. I've got no choice. I want to save him. I'll have to break him up myself. What are you talking about? You're showing up, you dead.